Here are a few more examples of making expressions and then evaluating them with variables. The product of 8, okay, so here, here we have an operation clue, a number, and the square of a number, so we've got a number there, decreased, here's an operation clue, by 9. There's a lot going on in this particular problem. Something is probably going to be grouped with parentheses or a grouping, the grouping um, lines. The product of 8 and the square of a number, and then here we have a multiplication symbol, and here we have a subtraction symbol. So if we're, go we're going to be grouping the product of 8 and the square of a number. So here's our grouping symbol. We'll put parentheses. 8 and the square of a number. So we'll, let's do a squared. Decreased by 9. Three times, here's a number, the multiplication clue, three times the difference, here's another clue for an operation, the difference of a number to the fourth power and 10, another number. So three times the difference of a number to the fourth power and 10. So we're going to need to group the difference of a number to the fourth power and 10. There's our grouping. The same here, the product of the product of 8 and the square of a number was a grouping area. So 3 times the difference. So, so we're going to go 3 times. Here's our print grouping symbol. The difference of a number to the fourth power and 10. So in this case, we're going to have to have a number to the fourth power and 10. Here's our difference. That's how that would look. The double, the double quantity of 8 more than a number squared. Okay, here we have a quantity, the doubled quantity. That's a number. The quantity of 8 more than, here's a clue word for addition, a number squared. That seems to go together. The quantity of 8 more than a number squared. So we're ha going to have to double this, which is another way of saying 3 times. This would be doubled. It would be 2 times. So 2 times the quantity of 8 more than. So the 8 is actually hooked on to the, the number squared. See how we have to turn that around? It's 8 more than. So we have a number squared, and then we have 8 more than that. The doubled quantity of 8 more than a number squared. Last one. Double a number plus 6. Comma, do you see the comma? Then squared. Okay, so within that, this portion of it, it says double a number plus 6. The comma tells us that those two ideas are grouped. Here's the comma. Double a number plus 6, then squared. So we're going to have to do doubled a number. So we don't know what the number is. Let's call it A. Plus 6. That is a quantity. Then squared. The whole thing gets squared. Only what touches the exponent, what, what the exponent touches, gets squared. In this case, only the a is squared. But when you want the whole quantity squared, you put parentheses around the whole thing. Then the 2 is touching this whole portion. 
All right, so now this is the way we have taken the verbal, the words, and changed them into the mathematical symbols.